And hello to my YouTube family and hello to those of you watching this video on mydatacareer.com, which is my own website. Thank you for joining me. This is a free preview video for my new access course that's titled Access 2016 for Beginners, Practice Makes Perfect. I'm gonna be talking about date functions in this video. And this is, as I said, an exclusive uh, for my website and for YouTube. Um, specifically, you won't find this video in the actual full course, so it's just uh, an extra for you guys. So we're gonna get right into things. And what I've done so far is I've started a query with just one of the tables being used, the transactions table that we did make earlier in the course, in the full course. And I've just taken two of the fields. I've taken the transaction ID field and the shipped date field. So the first function that we're going to learn is the year function. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here in this open space for the field and we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to build. And when we go to build, we're at the expression builder or the function builder. And what we're gonna go, go do is go to functions here, click on built-in functions, click on date and time and go all the way down and there's year. Just click on it once and you will see the syntax for the year function. You will notice that it says year and then parentheses with date in there. This is the argument. The year function takes in one argument and that argument is date. So it has to be a date. Now it also gives you a description of what it is right down here, but if you're new to access, this is probably gonna sound pretty confusing and it's not gonna really sound like English to you. So I will explain right away what that means here. Let's click on year and you will see it show up here in this space here. And as you see, it just says date. If you left click on your mouse just once on that date, it highlights it. And then what it allows us to do is it allows us to go into our own database that we've created, go to the tables, go to transactions, and we're gonna pick the shipped date uh, field. And we're just going to double click on it. And so that's our argument that goes in there. So of course it has to be a date data type, okay? And if we click okay, that's all good. Remember here that you can rename it right here. So we won't do that for now, but that's where it is. I'm sure you guys uh, remember that who have uh, taken the full course or the rest of the course. And what we can do here then is basically say any ship to date that's in 2017, because this is a year function, so we're looking for a year. We put in 2017 and it's going to give us any shipped date that's in 2017. So that's super. Now, if you guys know the database, we only have shipped days in 2017. So let's put a year where we don't actually have anything, which is every other year. And if we put 2016, you're going to find nothing. So this is good and it's accurate. So that's super. We'll get it back to 2017. We'll go to our next open spot here for field. We'll double click, we'll go to build, we'll go to functions, we'll go to built-in functions, we'll go to date and time. And how about we find a month? Okay, so month, again, it takes in one argument, that's date. We can double click it. We can go back here, click once with your left uh, mouse button, back to our database, find our table, transactions, and ship date. Okay, so this function will very easily take now a month. So it will go one to 12, one for January, 12 for December. I believe all of ours are in April. So January, February, March, April, that's a four. So now we're able to be even more specific. We only want things that have a shipped date of 2017 and April. So do we have anything for that? We do, because it happens to be that uh, all our shipping happened on April, so we have something. 
but it's awesome because it allows us to get really, really specific in terms of what we can do. And you're probably not surprised to learn that if we go to a new open slot, we go to build and we go to functions and built-in functions and date and time, we will also be able to find day. So as it says down here, integer whole number between one and 31, okay? So double click, we'll put in a date, and again, we'll go back and find in our tables, transactions table, and then the shipped date field. Double click on it, now it's in. And you know, we can go for a certain day. Let's see the sixth day of April. And if we run that, well, apparently we don't have anything shipped on that date. How about seven? Seven? Yes. So we have a couple. So now we've got the year, we've got the month, and we've got the day. So we can get really, really specific. So that is a look for you at some of the date functions and how useful they can be. So if you liked this video, you found it useful, consider buying the whole course. You can go on my website. There are coupons there for this course and my other courses, mydatacareer.com, or you can buy from the coupon right under this video. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining me, and I'll see you soon.